Hey Gilbert, today is Wednesday, April 8th, and I'm here to give you an update. There are currently 2,726 cases of COVID-19 in Arizona and 80 total deaths. In Maricopa County, we have 1,559 confirmed cases and 37 deaths. And to date, there have been 34,564 tests administered in the state of Arizona, and there's a 7% detection rate. So that's how we're getting those confirmed cases identified. Um, we've heard you loud and clear and passed along your requests to the governor's office. I'm sure we're not alone in doing that, but this Sunday there will be a new dashboard released by the Arizona Department of Health Serv Services with a more detailed location data. And currently they're analyzing that data to determine what the specific unit is gonna be. So if they're gonna be um, announcing it by city, or by zip code, we don't know that information yet, but we should have more detailed information from uh, AZDHS by uh, Sunday. Also, the governor has some new orders. We wanna make sure you hear about these. Anyone traveling to Arizona from an area with substantial community spread must isolate and self-quarantine for 14 days. That includes travelers from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Um, Again, that expansion of the data reporting that will come on Sunday, and then also allowing restaurants to repackage and sell grocery items that have on hand, including items not normally packaged and labeled for resale, they can do that so they can break down things into smaller units. And then lastly, in order to better protect seniors and staff and uh, those who care for them at nursing homes and at long-term care facilities, those individuals, I'm sure, are under a tremendous amount of stress and we're grateful for the continued effort that they have. Um, lots of questions we're getting from you all about masks and what to do and how to use them. It can be anything as simple as a t-shirt with some rubber bands. Um, but the idea is that you have a mask and that you wear it over your face. It'll loop around your ears. Um, I uh, have this great one that a neighbor made for me. They can be homemade. Um, and I know that there's a lot of resources out there as far as patterns and other things. If you sew, if not, phone a friend. Um, there's gonna be lots of ways I think we can all share resources as it relates to this. This one has a interface, uh, a web interface inside that has a filter on it, so that's helpful. Um, and I wanna have a special announcement for some of our kids in Gilbert. So this is specific to some of our Gilbert kids. Um, as a mayor, I often get notifications when we have a special visitor come to the town of Gilbert. And I want you to know that um, I have received a notification that the Easter Bunny will still be coming to Gilbert. Um, I think they're taking some additional precautions and that's really important, but we do anticipate that um, the Easter Bunny will still be able to come to our community and we wanna make sure the kids know that. And I'm gonna take a point of personal privilege today. Um, it is April 8th and today is my daughter Kate's ninth birthday. So happy birthday, Kate. Um, I had her in 2011 while I was a council member and uh, she's pretty much a bright spot in our family and in our life. So happy birthday, Kate. 